Barakti Hawa Brakatha Yehosha Barakti Hawa Brakatha Yehosha Ba Hashem Rakakwadash The honors to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching in truth and sincerity. Lesson will be entitled Looking Like a Lamb, but Speaking Like a Dragon. Revelation 13 and 11. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. I is referring to John the Revelator and and he had the ability to prophesy via the Holy Spirit. In time prophecy or prophecies, the beast is a representation for America and America's time frame to rule. And he had two horns like a lamb and he spoke as a dragon. The two horns is a representation for the two dominant parties in America's political system, which are the Democrats and the Republicans. Now, a lamb is symbolic for what? Being gentle, innocent, and pure. A dragon is symbolic for what? Being harsh and ferocious. So two horns like a lamb and he spoke as a dragon. Both political parties pretend to be for the American people, for the welfare of the American people, for the economy of America. However, their true intent is the attainment of the new world order. They do the bidding for the elite bankers, which are Edomites, 13 Edomite families that control this entire system, looking like a lamb and speaking like a dragon. And that's the reason why when it goes into both parties, um, policies or legislations, right? All of that shit is harsh. It is oppressive to the American people, right? And we only care about the Israelites. So, Within the concept of the Americans, you have what? Israelites. Okay, you have Israelites, modern-day Negroes, modern-day Hispanics, and modern-day Native Americans. This video was inspired by a video I came across on TikTok. And this video is entitled, This Joe Biden. Now, according to the term name prediction, which means nomen omen, Joe means what? to add Biden continually, to add continually, and that is what Joe Biden is doing. He's doing the bidding for the elite bankers. All your presidents were selected and not elected. Case in point, when Trump went against Hillary Clinton, the people chose who? Hillary Clinton. But guess what? The elite chose who? Donald Trump. And they use the status of who? The electoral votes. Basement said. Also, a video will be used for fair use. Quote, we already have a nigger mayor. We don't need any more nigger big shots. Baby, the Nunez plan in the basement said, quote, we already have a nigger mayor. We don't need any more nigger big shots. And the court cited a major crime bill. Every minor crime bill. Has had the name of the Democratic senator from the state of Delaware, Joe Biden, on that bill. We do everything but hang people for jaywalking in this bill. I mean, you got the first sort of mainstream African American yeah. who is articulate and bright and, and clean and nice looking guy. I mean, it's, that's a storybook, man. You cannot go to a 7 Eleven or a Dunkin' Donuts. Unless you have a slight Indian accent. It's a brilliant. Am I, I'm not joking. I spent last summer going through the black sections of my town holding rallies in parks, trying to get black men to understand it's not unmanly to wear a condom. Getting women. So this is your Joe, okay? Another precept, which will be the last precept. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 3. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh. Joe Biden is your modern-day Pharaoh. Be your shame, right? Because he's not for your benefit, you Israelites. And the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion, right? Because at the end of the day, you have the concept of two-thirds that are located in America. They're not going to make it. And within this concept, you actually have individuals that are Israelites that still believe in this political system.
after years and years and years of let, let down. Okay? So nothing will change. Only Yahweh Shah can redeem us. Lord will, you are edified. Shalom.